In this video, I'll be installing GPay on Lineage OS. This requires the setup of Magisk for it to work. I already have Lineage OS 20 installed using Mind the Gaps for the GApps package and Magisk is already installed. So if you haven't done that already, you'll want to check out those videos in the description below. So here we see that we are on Lineage version 20. And with the GApps package installed, you can install GPay simply from the Play Store. Once installed, you can use this Google Wallet to add payment cards. However, it's not going to work simply in the state that it is right now. So here I'm going to try to use the ShakePay card and add it to the Google Wallet. However, because this device is using a custom OS, there are safety net features that won't allow it to be used for tap payments. So to get around this, we need to use Magisk, which is already set up on this device. So here we're going to set up the Zygisk, Hide Props Conf, and Universal Safety Net Fix modules. At each step, you'll have to reboot the phone. So Zygis can be found in the settings of Magisk. However, for the other two modules, you'll have to download them to the device in order to install them. You can find the links to these modules in the description below. So to install the modules, we go back into Magisk, hit modules, and then install. Here we want to go to the download folder directly in order to access these packages. So here I'm installing the first module, hide props config, and then I will have to reboot again once it's done. Once rebooted, I will then install the second module, the same method, press modules, install module from storage, and here I'm installing the universal safety net fix. And again, the device has to be rebooted. Once this has fully installed and rebooted, there are a few more steps that are needed to be taken in order to get GPay working. Using this same technique, you might be able to also use this for installing certain banking apps or other apps that are complaining about your phone being rooted or having a custom OS installed. So now Zygisk and the two modules are installed. We have a few more steps before we can use GPay. So here we can see the modules are installed. But back into Magisk, go to settings, and then we need to configure the deny list. So make sure both the Google Wallet GPay and Google Play services are checked. Finally, this last step is very important. We need to clear the cache of these three apps. 
To do that, you need to go into settings, go to apps so that you can find Google Play services, clear the cache of that app, and also clear the storage. And now do the same for Google Play Store and Google Wallet. Once that's done, go back to Google Wallet and add the card again. So this time it looks a little bit different. But you can add your payment card as you would from your regular credit cards, but here again I'm using the ShakePay card which is a digital card, and I'm adding that to my Google Wallet. So this time, instead of complaining about tap not working, it has issued new terms, which shows that the card is being added to the wallet. Finally, I'm going to make a payment using my new Google Wallet with the card added. So this is working on this device for me, but you try it out and let us know if it works. Thanks again for watching, and if this helped you out, then please subscribe.